last time you smoked any marijuana? This morning? This morning? I can smell it. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, that's okay. I was just uh, dropping on my little sister. And okay. You know the other reason I stopped you? Did you feel yourself drive over that curb? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's a curb. I think that's my mission's bad. I'm like, it's like a little bit. Look, this is the edge right here. Yeah, I don't think that's it. I think it's that you just drove over the curb. Yeah, my bad. I, it happens, man. Yeah. All right, so how old are you? I'm 18. 18. How much weed can you smoke when you're 18? Uh, uh, none. None. Right. Do you have a card? No. Okay. So you can't smoke any weed, right? You certainly can't smoke and drive, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have any weed in your bag there? Because it sure smells like marijuana in here. No. No? You don't have any in there? Are you sure? Because your face says that you're lying to me. No, I just have a little bit right here. Okay, so you have a little bit right here. Yeah. So when I said that you, do you have any marijuana in your car, and you said no, and then I said, no, I smell it, and you're like, well, there's some right here. So your initial answer should have just been, yes, I have weed, and I know I shouldn't, right? Okay, so all of those are true, right? Yeah, just look. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Wow, this thing actually says I'm a I'm grinder. Yes. Because it's a grinder. I like it. I like your sense of humor there. All right. Um, you have any other sort of drug paraphernalia in here? You have like a pipe or like what do you smoke this stuff out of? Oh, there's a pipe. There we go. Kind of had a feeling there might have been that in there also. So now that looks pretty fresh, freshly burnt. That's this morning? Yeah. All right, about what time this morning? What time? 889, eight, somewhere in there? Okay. He's high. I mean, he is definitely high. Hi, hey, partner. Hi, partner. Ooh. Ooh, I smell the fragrant <laughs> odor of cannabis as I walk up to the car. <laughs> I smelled it as I walked up. My goodness. So he's 18. Um, he can't have marijuana. He has marijuana. He smoked marijuana. And then he drove over the curb. <laughs> so he displayed impairment while he was driving. I, I, I'm shocked and There's, odd. And a little bit of that. So I'm going to have you tilt your head back like you're looking up at the sky and close your eyes. Those are Kanye shoes. Yes, Aren't sir. they Kanye shoes? Yes, sir. You're rocking Kanye shoes. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's Thank awesome. See, man, we're cool. We're hip. Would you feel more comfortable if you took your Kanye shoes off and walked in your bare feet? Or would you like to walk in your Kanye shoes? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, whichever you want. There we go. So just like this, left foot, right foot. Put your Kanye, Kanye shoes back on there. We like those. Thank you. So listen, this is what's your first name? So listen, this is what the deal is. Right now, the position that you're in is perfect. I want you to stay just like that, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come behind you like this. And I'll place you under arrest for driving under the influence of the marijuana that you smoked earlier today, okay? Ah, so your face says this is your weed. Oh, no. Yeah, it's, that's your weed. Okay. Okay, lots of candy in here. Somebody in trouble. Also lots of marijuana. Lots and lots of marijuana. All sorts of marijuana. That's a lot of marijuana. He's allowed to have zero grams. And that is more than zero grams of marijuana. Oh well. This is middle of the day in Santan Valley. Uh, this is, I think the stop was at 2.30 in the afternoon. Uh, you know, it's not a holiday weekend. It's not, uh, uh, you know, it's not 2 o'clock in the morning. This is in the middle of the day where there's drug-impaired drivers on the roadways with our families. Um, and that's what the traffic unit does is they go out there and look for these drivers and try to get them off the road before they, they cause a collision, before they hit someone and hurt them. Were you speeding? No, you weren't. Does, so I, I know that you're driving a car, but does this car happen to identify as a bicycle? Because you were driving with two of your wheels in the bike lane like all the way from... Yeah, I'm so sorry, I have the boot on my leg. Oh, you got a big old boot, yeah. Yeah, so I try to, I'm going to a doctor's appointment. I try to... So how does the boot on your left foot affect how you steer your car with your two good hands? It hurt, I don't know what I was doing. I wasn't really paying attention. I could tell. I wasn't paying attention, but my mind was trying to put my mind on my boot, because when I do this, it hurt. So I don't push, do that, I, and it won't hurt. I know. I try not to think about it. When I push the chair back, I'm too short. It's my brother's car, so I have to try to. I'm sorry. I That's just, okay. I'm going to shut this door here nice and easy for you. There we go. Okay. All right. Thank you. The reason I stopped you is all those cars are moving there, and you just split traffic. Okay. And you can't do that here. You don't have registration? No. What's that on your bike? So, the tag has been expired. Um, this has been in my, uh, I suspect when I was stationed in California. Take your, take your helmet off so I can talk to you. 
Okay, so they suspended your license plate when you were in California. They've suspended your registration, means you can't drive. So can't drive means that you can't drive. You don't just get to drive when you want. So you have no registration, you have no insurance. Okay, just wanted to make sure. You don't have to turn your car off, man. It's hot out here. Yeah, I was doing the speed limit. You actually weren't. I was doing 45. Well, now, well, first of all, that's not true, because I locked you in on radar at 57, you and driving. you were at 57 sure. before. Dude, this is not a back and forth. I'm not looking for information from you. So you were at 57 before you crossed the elongation of a line created by the 45 mile per hour sign. So you were still in a 25 mile per hour zone going more than double the speed limit. So at no time were you doing the speed limit except when you passed it on the way to your top speed. And he's got all these excuses and then I run his driver's license and he's suspended from tickets that were I think issued by the Pinal County Sheriff's Office. So failure to pay for criminal violation, failure to pay for criminal violation, failure to comply with financial responsibility. Um, so he is suspended while he is driving and says that he wasn't, that he was only doing the speed limit, which he wasn't, and he was in a 25 mile per hour zone going more than double the speed limit. So, so he's gonna have some issues here um, as a result of one, having a ton of excuses as to why he was doing what he was doing, and two, the fact that he's driving and shouldn't be behind the wheel of a vehicle at all. Okay, so um, your driver's license is suspended. So you know that? Okay, so you shouldn't be driving at all. Just don't drive because you can't, and obviously you're not good at it, right? Okay, thank you. Your car is broken and you're running late, so I feel like those are two different things. So I, I will explain, my bad. Uh, my car is running lean. And lean? Yes. Okay. So so it's not pumping enough gas in. My gears are shifting extremely hard ah. if, I, if I don't speed up just enough. Um, and it, I am so you're so you're driving faster, so your car shifts better. So the speed limit here on Hunt Highway is 45. You pass me at 72. There's my car is not saying I'm going that fast at all. At I, all. But, so your car that isn't working correctly is not reading that. My radar that is working correctly is what said that when you passed me. So I'm sure that if one of the two of these is reading correctly, it's, it's my it's calibrated certified radar. When was the last time you smoked any marijuana? I don't. Concentrate? Uh, I will, I did, I did, but I don't while I'm driving or doing anything like that. Okay, I, when was the last I, time you did? Um, maybe last night when I got home. I, I didn't work yesterday, so I could. Okay, so I'm looking at the the concentrate cartridge in your center console there. It, that's my, it's actually not mine. It's, um... But your car? Yes, sir. It's okay. My fault, completely. Okay. So there's a lot of excuses. Like, I'll, like all sorts of excuses as to why he was going 72 in a 45. And I, I don't think I believe any of them. So as you said, you're broke. But you had enough money to smoke weed. But you did because you smoked, You said you smoked it last night. That's and just looking at you, I could, I could tell that you're not high now. So I'm not worried about there being any impairment. They're saying that there's different ways you could allocate your money. There's better ways and you're 20, right? Okay, so you're in the part of your life where you make poor decisions. I'm, I'm working making, better, making better decisions is always a good idea. Also, not driving at almost 30 miles an hour falls into that same realm. I Probably don't drive more than 30 miles an hour on the speed limit. Okay. F maybe 50, also above the speed limit. Um, so, all I did, I didn't, so you're going a criminal amount of speed. I did not write you a criminal ticket. Okay. Um, so, now that now that we're done with all of the excuses as to why you're doing what you're doing, I'm give that to you there. I'm sorry? Uh, who were you endangering? Yes. Well, the speed limit is the highest speed you can go, right? Because it's a limit, right? So if there's a limit, you shouldn't be able to go ahead of that. It's, it's a recommendation for safe driving out of driving safe. It's a recommendation. So if you'd like, there's a court date on there. So you could take that, go to the judge, and tell the judge, Your Honor, I'm nearly 30 miles an hour over the posted speed limit. However, I know that's a recommendation, and I don't think I should be held accountable for my actions. And this is what's wrong with today's society right there driving away now at the speed limit um because finally probably for the first time in his life someone held him accountable for something that he did i just
I don't understand the world anymore. You know what your top speed was on radar? I don't think jinxing is the right word. The reason I stopped you is because you're driving and texting at the same time and you can't be doing that. Oh no, I was watching my daughter, sorry. You also, you also can't do that. Putting license on what? Registration insurance also, please. So you're FaceTiming while you're driving down the road. So he didn't even stop FaceTiming with his kids on the phone because um, it's still going on in there in the background while I'm talking to him and there's kids screaming. And... <sighs> so your driver's license. Well, let's see. You're not wearing your seatbelt. You're at a criminal amount of speed in a school zone. So let's... I, everyone says, let me see your driver's license. So I'm Deputy Slope. I work for the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit. The reason I stopped you is 73 miles an hour in a posted 45 mile per hour zone. You are, uh, it's still flashing on my radar. It's 73. Sir, I have to really go to the back. I, I, under, I understand that. However, there's a whole bunch of places just up there. See our registration curb proof insurance, please. And is that, is that delicious food there? Half of it. Nope, I'm just saying, whenever you stop to get that, probably could have used the bathroom there. Okay. Let me tell you something I hate. Is before I even get to the window, you start asking me for a warning for what you obviously know that you did wrong. And every excuse, almost 30 miles an hour over the speed limit, and then immediately ask me for a break. No. The last time that you were cited, you were cited by another member of the Pinal County Sheriff's Office Traffic Unit by Deputy Diener, also for speed. So. Obviously, speeding is something that you do. But sometimes they have a heart, like, you know, it's open Christmas time. I did, I didn't. A lot of people have a lot of, you know, money they have to spend on I, their kids and stuff. Like I that. absolutely like, understand that. You know what I mean? It's like, just some, every once in a while, you can just be like, you know what, man? Don't let her let me catch you again. You know what I mean? And then, and, and I, I'm fine with that. You know what I'm saying? But you don't even, I mean, a chance. That's all I'm asking. Like, once in a blue moon, just have a heart. It's Christmas time. That right there is all of yours. No, sir. I can finish explaining this, but you seem like you don't want to hear it. So, all right. Make sure you put your seatbelt on. Drive safely. <sighs> Any reason why you're why you're blowing past me there? Uh, I'm, I'm not even going to argue, sir. I know that it was my my fault. So, well, I appreciate that. <sighs> so, refreshing. I appreciate you taking responsibility for saying, hey, look, I passed you, I was speeding, I don't have an excuse. So the sheriff's office is going to give you a warning tonight. Keep, try to keep your driving record clean, but slow down, okay? Thank you also for your seatbelt. Drive safe.